Hey, it's Joel. I want you to check this out because Anycubic reached out and said, hey, Joel, we got something new and I'd love for you to be able to show your audience. And I was like, well, okay, what is it? What is it? And they sent me the details and I was like, yes, this is actually really cool. I think this is forward thinking. So let's take a look at the new Anycubic Photon Mono M5S. Do, 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 do. And that S stands for speed because advertised it can do 105 millimeters per hour. That means if you have a model that is 105 millimeters tall, you should be able to get that done in 60 minutes. The build volume here is 218 by 123 by 200. So it's got plenty of volume to get your models printed. Plus the LCD is 12 K. 12 K. What? It's the 11,520 pixels by 5,120 pixels. Normal prints here, those run about 70 millimeters per second. In order to get that 105 millimeters per second, Anycubic says you need some of the high speed resin. Now they say this resin has a lower viscosity, which makes it easier for this machine to print with at speed, but also Anycubic has implemented something they're calling ACF film. That's the film inside the vat that the model prints against. And ACF film paired with high speed resin is what enables you to get that 12K LCD powering 105 millimeters per second. This is ACF film. And this is what's in the bottom of the vat. You can see that there are screw holes around the metallic frame and this ACF film makes it easier for the resin to detach, which means you can print at higher speed. Cool. Also, what's really, really interesting is this build plate. What do you see that's missing here? This is a very rigid, solid chunk. There are no screws on either side to adjust it. And Ecubic with this has implemented what they call a level free system. You don't have to use the paper on the bottom in order to establish a level. It's using this rigid build plate without any adjustment screws to find the proper level. And then it just goes on like that. And this big giant knob at the top is what you tighten down. I like this move because when we talk about resin based 3D printing, there are flexible build plates for resin that you can attach and it lets you pop parts off easier. But if you don't have one of those, you have to use a pancake flipper or a chisel or an artist's spade or whatever and you get that piece off of the build plate. But invariably you're putting lots of pressure on it and that can cause the screw where you've tightened the screws down, it can cause those little joints to loosen, which means then it's no longer perfect and you might have to adjust it sooner because of that. And this eliminates that, which I find fascinating. So now what I wanna do is get some prints done. I wanna show this off. Let's add some resin and let's do a test. One of the things I almost forgot to mention is this, it's a screen protector. In the years since we've had economic consumer-based resin 3D printers, we've found that putting a screen protector on the glass does help in certain situations. If there's ever any sort of resin that gets spilled on the glass, then instead of it being on the glass, it's on the protector. So let's get this on real quick and then we'll print. going crazy fast. So you'll see that that's running the resin laps right there, that camera. And then the peel and the reset happens. So there's the peel, there's the reset. It's happening really, really fast. Light on. Light on. Wow. It just keeps going fast. This print is expected to take 47 minutes. The print is done and it took 45 minutes, 45 minutes to print that in resin. That's quite fast. 
Looking at the screen up front, it said it hit 108.4 millimeters per hour. Let's get it off the machine and take a look at it. That's not bad at all. Well, obviously, in order to see what kind of detail a 0.1 millimeter layer height in this is gonna give us, we do kind of have to wash it off. So let's get it washed off and then let's take a look at it. That's the Photos Mint Battle Troll. Look at that, it's sliced in Photon Workshop. I did a quick wash in isopropyl alcohol just so we could get that resin off of it that wasn't cured. And if you look at the models, they look spectacular. The pre-supported models from Photos are by Charles Zuck. He does a great job on this. That's fantastic. He's even got supports in his mouth. We should get those out. I bet that's not comfortable. Look at that. Oh, that's fantastic. 45 minutes in resin. I'm gonna consider this battle troll a success. 45 minutes, 108.4 millimeters per hour. And what's crazy is this is at 0.1 millimeter layer height. Now in resin, that's considered a pretty fat layer, yet the detail is there. It did a fantastic job. The supports came off easily. The parts fit together. It looks correct. I'm kind of blown away because 45, 45 minutes. Now though, what I want to do is try to get some good detail from the 12K LCD, but not high speed. There's another model here that Fotis has made, and it probably one of my favorites. We print that next at a 0.05 millimeter height using normal speed, and let's see what it looks like on a 12K LCD. <clears throat> This is the way. This is the way. And just like that, five hours, four minutes later, this print is done. This is awesome. This is awesome. Oh, Fotis, you've outdone yourself on this one. Here she is. Look at that. That is the armorer from The Mandalorian, modeled by Fotis Mint, pre-supported by Charles Zuck. The stand is the forge, and it's got the insignia, and then it's got her cape or her shawl. This was fun and this was actually eye-opening and surprising because it's really cool to see these industrial functions come down to consumer grade 3D printers. And by specifically, I mean low viscosity resins, a sheet that allows for an easier release and automatic leveling with a rigid plate that needs no adjustment. Remember, this was the first print I ever did on the machine. I did no paper leveling at all, none. I just hit go and it did all of the automatic calculations itself. Here's my challenge to you watching this. What models would you like to see compared at normal speed and high speed? the same model, the same resin, and then give you a chance to guess which one is which print. Oh, that's exciting. Okay, for suggestions on the models for that, leave those in the comments below. Well, Anycubic wanted me to give you a first look at the M5S, and I'm really happy they asked me to do that because the functionality is there. It prints stupid fast and it looks good, but that 12K LCD really helps detail shine. And it is my personal opinion that I like it. <laughs> if you made this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for a cause you believe in. Safety first. And as always, high five.